Hello Primary 4 students, I'm Mrs. Duai and this is the last lesson of SHARE in Concept 4 Energy and Collision and this also will be the last lesson of Unit 2 Motion. Today you will use all the information you learned about energy and collision to investigate real crashes. This will be during activity number 11, Analyze like a scientist. Analyze like a scientist is a STEM in action activity. In STEM activities, we always connect what we have learned to real world problems or to different STEM jobs, like the job of crash investigators. Crash investigators, muhaqqiqi tasadum sayarat. Crash investigator is the one that will do today. You will act like a crash investigator to analyze a group of different photos of cars, which had accidents. To know the real reasons and the factors that lead to a collision or car crashes. The car makers use the data recorded by crash investigators during their investigation to think of different factors that can keep the passengers safe. مصنعي السيارات بياخدوا كل المعلومات اللي crash investigators بيجيبوها عشان يقدروا يصمموا بيها passenger safety inside cars. So you will analyze the different collision situations and it will help you in the unit project to redesign a safety feature for drivers. I want you to open your book on page 236 and look at the car photo. I think you see the photo now. Of course, you observe that the front part of the car is damaged. As you see this picture, can you predict what is the object that collided with the car? What is the mass of this object? Is it huge or small? stable or fast moving object. And you should say the reason for your prediction. Think of this for example. My student Amira predicted that this car might have collided with a stable wall or an object with a large mass moving in opposite direction because it's undamaged from behind. Amira قالت إن هي ممكن تبقى خبطت في حاجة واقفة أو خبطت في حاجة كبيرة جاية في الأوبوزيت دايركشن لأن ال behind ال back بتاع العربية ما حصلش فيه دامج. But Ahmed said that if the object collided with it was in the opposite direction, the car's glass might be affected. Ahmed بيظن إن لو حاجة خبطتها من قدام ممكن إزازة العربية كسر. But this didn't happen. So it's more possible that it has collided with the wall. Now, we are acting like crash investigators, dealing with the accident as a puzzle and depend on their skills of observing and analyzing beside using their knowledge of the concepts like force, speed, energy, and collision. To know what? To know the reason for this accident. Let's know more about what data do crash investigators collect at the crash sites. So let's read the text and analyze it. Hetlay text page 236 and 237 in your book. The title is Crash Investigator. I want you to hold your pen and underline the different measurements and tasks that a crash investigator need to do when they are notified of an accident. عايزاكم تعملوا underline على كل المهمات اللي الكراش investigators بيعملوها لما حد بيبلغهم ان في حادثه. And what is the most important data they have to collect? ابتدوا اقروا التكست. Did you identify the investigator's first task? Start underlining using the pen. The investigator's first task is to measure things at the accident scene. They measure the damage to the cars and where the cars ended up after the crash. بيشوفوا ايه اللي حصل في العربية من دامج 
والعربية وضعها اتحرك بقت فين This means that if I am a crash investigator the first task I will do is to look at the two cars they do not have to be also in the site of the crash they might use photos or videos not to block the road like when we used the photo at the beginning of our lesson the investigator begins to record data about the damage that occurred in each car خلاص بعد ما عين كده ايه اللي حصل هيبتدي يكتبها are all the parts of the car destroyed not the front part only or is it the bad part of the car do the two cars have the same amount of damage or are the damage greater in only one car هيبتدي يكتب العربية باظت من قدام باظت من ورا العربيتين باظوا زي بعض ولا في عربية اتأثرت أكتر The size of the damage in the car could be evidence of what Why do crash investigators record data on the damage Do you remember the clay we used in the hands on investigation when its shape changes because of dropping it strongly فاكرين صحابنا لما جم هنا وعملوا معانا تجربة وكان في معانا ولد مسك الكلي وخبطه جامد ايه اللي حصل لشكل كلي اتغير خالص طب اتغير ليه this percentage of damage it can indicate the force of collision قوة التصادم so crash investigators also identify the place where the cars arrived after the collision العربية وضعها اتغير بقى فين where exactly did the collision happen and how far did the car moves العربية اتحركت من هنا لهنا do you think this also could be evidence of what? Go back to the investigations of the speed concept. Which car pushed the cup further? فاكرين برضو في الهانس on investigation لما نزلنا عربية وخبطت كوباية وكوباية حركت أنهي عربية حركت الكوباية أكتر? Is it the fast car or the slow one? For sure the fast car because the kinetic energy was greater. The faster one transferred greater part of their kinetic energy during collision with the cup. So identifying the location where the cars reached after the collision could be evidence of the speed that the driver of the two cars used. لما بعرف مكان العربيات اتغير ازاي بعد التصادم اقدر اتوقع سرعة العربيات دي كانت عاملة ازاي. Do you think what are the other factors which crash investigators collect data about? هيجمعوا داتا عن ايه كمان؟ I'm sure many of you are saying in a loud voice mass. Underline this sentence crash investigator need to know the force that acted on vehicle and the mass. They measure the mass directly using a scale. بيقيسوا الماس الكتلة عن طريق ميزان. Mass is measured by a scale designed to measure the car's mass by putting it on the car to identify its mass. طب هما يستفادوا ايه من الماس؟ When we know the mass أكيد هنبتدي نعرف أنهي عربية أتقل في أنهي عربية هتعمل more damage By knowing the mass we can analyze the reason of the difference in the damage of the two cars in the crash accidents For example, the car with a larger mass its damage and impact will be greater than the car with less mass العربيات التقيلة هتعمل more damage and impact عن العربيات الصغننة are there other ways to help the crash investigators identify the collision force? Let's read and underline this sentence at the end of the text together. Crash investigators compare the cars from the crash to the data the car manufacturers supply. بيقارنوا شكل العربية بشكل العربية للمصنع عملها. This comparison help them know how much force was involved in the crash. The data of the manufacturer means that the data we get from the company that made the car. أكيد الشركات اللي بتصنع العربيات دي بتعمل داتا ليها بيانات ليها. فبيقارنوا ال crash investigators بيقارنوا بيانات العربية قبل التصادم ببيانات العربية اللي المصنع الشركة المصنعة كتباها. These manufacturers or car makers make cars and expose them to collision experiments. We talked about these cars tests in the unit introduction. Then, by using certain devices, they measure the amount of force that can cause damage to the car during the collision. Then the data they have after more than one experiment, they keep as a reference data. مصنعين السيارات دايما بيعملوا اختبارات على العربية. يشوفوا اللي بيحصل لها وقت التصادم. 
كل البيانات دي والتجارب اللي بيعملوها لازم بيكتبوها. We can refer to these data if we want to know the amount of force that can act on the vehicle that was manufactured and caused damage. So we can summarize the data and measurements the crash investigator collect in three main points. أظن كده أخدتوا بالكم الكراش انفستيجيتورز المفروض يجمعوا إيه من بيانات. أول حاجة measuring the damage happened to the cars and where the car ended after the crash. تاني حاجة they measured the mass of the car by a scale. تالت حاجة measuring the force using the reference material of the manufacturer. طيب do you remember when we talked about entrepreneurs and said They try to think creative solutions to their problems. I think after reading the text, what are the ways the crash investigators uses creativity and entrepreneurship skills in? They must analyze the problem, identify its reasons, لازم يشوفوا ايه هي البروبلم وايه اسبابها, and try to know the cause and effect, and use imagination, observation, and analysis, or make different predictions about collision location before and after the crash sites. We are also using the same skills and all we have learned about energy, collision and crash investigators data. We will analyze scenarios for different collision accidents. I want you to open your school book on page 238. <laughs> These are two photos or diagrams drawn by a collision investigator for the motion of vehicles before the accidents so that you can imagine what could have happened at the time of the collision. خلي بالكم هما كل اللي بيعملوه توقعات. This is the crash site in the first scenario. هنا هنبتدي نتكلم على ال first scenario. Okay? تمام. Okay, it's before the accident. The red car drove through the intersection from a stop. The red car هتبتدي تتحرك من الintersection. ده كان the direction بتاعها. Okay? This was the direction of the red car before collision. Okay? And the blue car continued in a straight line. So the blue car hit the red car. The blue car كانت ماشية كده. Okay? فال blue car هتخبط the red car. I want you to look closely at the photo. Well, and draw an arrow that show the direction of the red car after the collision. متخيلين هنا the blue car لما هتخبط the red car اللي ماشية كده هتوديها فين? By the way, the two cars are equal in mass. Think of this. I expect that the blue car will push the red car on its right side. هتحرك the red car من هنا هتخليها تخش كده. Okay? Because it's going to hit it from the side. So the red car will change its direction to the right due to the pushing force, meaning the arrow is drawn to the right. Okay? Then if our situation, a red car is like this, blue car is like this. When the blue car hit the red car, it changes, it changes its direction to the right. Okay? Let's see the second scenario. I want you I want you to identify the direction of the motion of the red car after the collision. Bardu, فركزوا جدا. Where the red car will be. As you see, the red car was driving through the intersection legally. The red car المرة دي كانت ماشية من the intersection legally. Okay? And it's going to the right. مفروض إن هي كانت هتخش right side كده. تمام؟ But the blue car was driving in the wrong lane. The blue car can it match the opposite direction, meaning in the opposite direction. Okay. I know from here that the blue car is the one that is wrong. Because we are in the country, the right lane is always the right lane, and we see the left lane for the cars that are the opposite. So it's necessary that the blue car is in the place where it should be, if it is going in the right direction. Okay. So the car must move on the right side and leave the left side for the coming cars from the opposite direction. It also walks faster than the red car. يبقى هنا عندي the blue car is faster, okay? And the red car is traveling less than the specified speed. يبقى red car ماشية بالspeed الصح. So what can we conclude from this? We conclude that the faster car has more kinetic energy and pushing force. 
So the collision occurred from the front part of the two cars. هنا العربية الزرقاء عشان ماشية بسرعة أكبر هيبقى عندها مور كاينتيك انرجي فبالتالي هتعمل تأثير وبما إن العربيتين هيخبطوا في بعض كده فهيبقى عندي الدامج فروم ذا فرونت سايد. What do you expect will happen to the red car after the collision؟ لما العربيتين هيخبطوا في بعض إيه اللي هيحصل؟ Where will you draw the arrow؟ I expect the blue car will transfer its kinetic energy to the red car. So the red car will return and walk in the opposite direction. أنا متوقعة إن لما البلو كار هتخبط في الريد كار عشان هي سرعتها أكبر هيكون تأثيرها أكبر. So the red car will change its direction في the opposite way. Meaning the arrow is drawn to the right. يعني هترجع لورا. By analyzing these collision scenarios, we will reach the last activity in our lesson. Let me prepare it for you. The last activity in our lesson is on page 239. Evaluate like a scientist. In this activity, we should think about what we have learned about collisions and summarize basic ideas such as the relationship between energy, motion, speed, and collision. Do you remember the mind maps? The mind map can help you easily summarize the main ideas and connect concepts and terms. دايما ال mind map بتساعدك إنك ترتب أفكارك وتربط كمان الكلمات اللي أنت تعلمتها ببعض. We use mind maps in career skills a lot. Pay attention to what I'm going to do because it will help you every time you have a question like this one. تعالوا بينا نشوف. I write the word collision and then draw arrows out of it. Those arrows are pointing to three terms. Mean homa motion, energy, and speed. Motion. Energy and speed. In the first concept, starting and stopping, we knew that any object wouldn't move by itself. It must be affected by something. What is it? That's right, by a force. في أول concept تعلمنا إن أي object عشان يتحرك لازم حاجة تبقى applied عليه اللي هي the force, the power. So for the object to move, we need force. Type. When this object really moves, the force دي ممكن يبقى نوعها إيه. The force ممكن تبقى pushing or pulling force. فهطلع two words من كلمة force. Pushing or pulling. And to affect an object strongly, you must exert what? Exert, work on it. And work needs amount of what? Energy. So first, let me write work. وعشان أقدر أعمل الورك تاعي, I must have energy. So there is a relation between work and energy. تمام? طيب, تاني. الأوبجكت بيتحرك عشان فيه pushing or pulling force كده لو الأوبجكت اتحرك يبقى work is done this means I had energy okay so energy will be that the object must be affected by force and this force needs energy and we learned in the concept of energy and motion that there are two basic types of energy اللي هم مين potential energy and kinetic energy نوعين الانرجي الرئيسيين اللي اتكلمنا عنهم potential energy and 
kinetic energy. وقلنا different examples على ال energies دي زي مثلا في ال kinetic energy قلنا ال sound وال heat وال light وال electric energy كانوا examples على ال kinetic energy اللي هي ال energy of moving objects واتكلمنا على ال potential energy وقلنا different types ليها زي ال gravitational potential energy وكمان ال elastic potential energy وال chemical potential energy stored in our body because we eat food واتفقنا ان ال energies must change or transform from one form to another. Now, what is the relation we explored between kinetic energy and speed? In the speed concept, we proved that the greater object's kinetic energy, the greater its speed. اتفقنا في concept بتاع ال speed ان كل ما kinetic energy هتزيد, ال speed كمان هتزيد. Okay? And the speed is one of the factors related to collisions. واتفقنا ان التصادم بيعتمد على السبيد اكيد بيفرق كتير قوي لو الاوبجكت ده كان سريع او بطيء اند وي نيو ذا فاست اوبجكت ويز لارج ماس اذا ثانيه واحده احنا قلنا ماس لازم نكتبها كوليجن اولسو ديبند اون ماس اوكي سو ذا اذر ثينج ذات افكتس كوليجن از ماس سبيد اند ماس ذا لارج ماس اوبجكت have large amount of kinetic energy and if collision occur they will cause more damage than objects that are less in speed and less in mass كل ما الاوبجكت كان سريع وتقيل هيعمل دامج كبير جدا في الكوليجن طيب فاكرين قلنا ايه اللي بيحصل للانرجي during a collision energy transformation occur هيحصل انتقال الطاقة including kinetic energy that transfer between objects An amount of this energy is lost in form of sound, such as the sounds of collision, or heat energy resulting from the object rubbing against each other. لو أنتوا فاكرين لما كلمنا على نيوتن's cradle اتفقنا إن في جزء من الطاق من الكينيتيك إنرجي بيتحول لكينيتيك إنرجي للبول اللي بعدها. في جزء بيتحول لساوند إنرجي صوت التصادم. في جزء كمان بيتحول لهيت إنرجي اللي تبقى ناتجة عن الفريكشن الاحتكاك ما بين الكور. What is the relation between the force concept and collision? Force also is a factor. The relation between the force and collision. The force, كمان, it's a factor affecting the collision. If an object is pushed or affected by a greater force, it will be greatly affected during the collision. فكرين لما صحبنا رمو الكلي with great force in the third trial, and we found that the shape is more affected than the first and the second trial, which had less force. I think that mind maps are a good way to summarize ideas and help you remember the information easily. You can also draw a mind map in the notebook and organize your thoughts to write a summary of the relation between energy, motion, speed, and collision. And I want you also to explain what happens when objects collide and how energy is transferred or transformed between them. خلي بالكو ال mind maps مش لازم تبقى بالشكل ده بالضبط. كل واحد فيكو يقدر يرتب أفكاره بطريقته يعني مش لازم كلنا نبقى copy paste If you have any additional questions about speed or collision write them down after the summary and think of how we can use all that we have learned to think of a way to improve the safety factors in vehicles The students in my class try to think of ways to help us reduce collision damage and improve vehicle safety. تلاميذي فكروا في طرق ان هم يقللوا الاضرار اللي بتحصل وقت التصادم. فكرنا في حاجتين اساسيين. We thought about the mass and the speed of the trucks. انا عندي مشكلتين لو الماس كبيره هيحصل دامج كتير ولو السبيد كبيره هيحصل دامج كتير. طب ما نحاول نقلل واحده فيهم. So we started asking Can manufacturers make vehicles which mass is so large that their speed doesn't exceed 60 kilometers per hour? This means that this will not only be a traffic law to reduce speed. 
because it can be the design of the car اخدتوا بالكم احنا طلبنا ايه بنفكر ان ليه ما يبقاش العربيات الكبيره الثقيله سرعتها ما تعديش 60 كيلو متر بر اور فكده يبقى عندنا البروبلم بتاعه الماس بس خلاص خلصنا بروبلم السبيد and there was an idea about the airbag if we made the car with airbags at each door outside and from the front as we saw in the watching objects colloid video how much the collision force could be reduced تخيلوا كده عملنا airbags all around the car inside and outside the car these are different ideas and you can search using the internet for additional ideas of safety factors finally we have reached the end of the concept now you are ready to go back to the anchor phenomena of the science of car crashes and the questions we raised at the unit introduction and start doing the project that focuses on redesigning a tool to protect drivers i think you are ready to start preparing your projects thank you and see you next time